All right, we're going to begin with prayer. Father God, thank you so much for this day, this fellowship. These are your people that are gathered. Father God, teach us your word. Open up our minds. Help us to believe in your power. Help us operate in faith today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we certainly pray. Lord, bless this study. Bless those children on the other side. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so we thank everybody for coming out to the City of Faith Church. Tonight we're having a study time. This is an opportunity to open up your mind to learn some amazing things about God's Word. And, of course, I'll be teaching again starting next week again, but I'll be teaching on Philippians. But we took a pause this week because I want to give you an opportunity at least once a month to be infatuated with miracles and did miracles really happen? Did they not really happen? And I want you to come face to face with some amazing stories so that you can make a decision on miracles. Now, what is, an, what is a miracle? A miracle is that which you cannot do. It's that gap. It's that gap in your life that you cannot surpass. It's that pathway where there is no pathway. And so here it is, you want to go over there. You desire to be over there, but you're here. And there's nothing between here and there that would allow you to achieve that goal. And when you, some type of way, you end up over there where there's no pathway for you to humanly go, that's called a, that's a miracle, an extraordinary event. And so we're gonna be talking about miracles uh, today, and we're gonna be talking about a specific miracle in the Bible. Now, dunamis in the Bible is a word for power. But it's also a word in the Greek that, that deals with miracles. And so a miracle is a powerful explosion that takes place in the earth. It's a powerful event that takes place in your life. Now, historically, the theologians fall into two particular groups. There are how many groups? Two. All right, there's one group of theologians who say, you know what? Uh, miracles certainly happen, Destiny. There was a time in life when miracles happened, and God did some extraordinary events in life. In the Bible, there are three recorded miracles where Jesus brought someone back from death. How many? Three. There's three. There's Lazarus, there's Jairus' daughter, and there's one more. And I, I, you're going to find out what that one is throughout this series of studies and things of that nature. But there's one group who says, I believe miracles happen at one time in history, but those miracles stop happening. That when, when God brought about the Bible, when the Bible was written, miracles at that moment, they just stopped. Then you have this other group of theologians who say, you know what? There was a time in history when God did miracles. So they believe just like this particular group over here. And they said there was a time in history when God did all kinds of amazing things. And they said there was a time in history when God worked in an unusual way through one person's life, Jesus Christ, in such a way that it seemed like there was an everyday miracle. The difference between this group and that group, this group says it has not ceased. This group says, yes, I admit, we don't see miracles at the rate and, and in the depth that we once did. But this group says, I believe that God is still able to do amazing, unbelievable things in your life. That what God did for them, God can still do for you. And so I fall in that particular group. And so there's a book called Life's Blueprint, and it deals with 40 miracles in the Bible. And it's written in such a way that allows your mind to open up and receive revelation knowledge there. Today, we're going to deal with day 15 of that book. And we're going to deal with a woman that had a what? An issue of blood. This is a particular woman that had a circumstance. This particular woman had an issue. This particular woman had a tragedy in her life. Can anybody identify with having a tragedy in your life? Having a circumstance in your life? Having a barrier in your life that you just can't seem to overcome? Well, this lady had this for years. This was not a two-week bad event. This was not a bad season. This seemed to be a bad life. And so here it is, this woman is dealt a bad hand by life, and what does she do? Does she crawl up in a ball, go into a depression, and do absolutely nothing? 
Well, Mark chapter 5 reveals everything that she did. And Brother David is going to come. He's going to go into a little bit more detail. But I'll share with you a little bit really quick on Mark chapter 5. It starts with nothing but action. It is one of my most favorite portions of Scripture in the Bible. Mark chapter 4, starting in verse 35, it deals with a miracle by Jesus when there was a wind and waves. It was like a hurricane. It was a tornado. It was just a horrible season. And they were on this water. The disciples thought they were going to die. They thought their boats were going to capsize. And this was it. And Jesus, they woke Jesus. And Jesus said, peace be still. And they said there was a great calm. And it was like, wow, we thought we were going to die. And now we experience a miracle. Well, when they get to the other side, they meet a demon possessed man. And then after they meet that demon possessed man, there's someone that comes to Jesus. And this is one of the three miracles when Jesus heals someone back from death and who says, my daughter is sick. Can you come with me to heal my daughter? Now, there were thousands of people who were asking Jesus to come with them. And here it is. This one man gets Jesus to say, OK. And while they're on the way to this man's house where his daughter is sick, a little girl, about 13 years of age, she's sick. She's about to die. They're on the way. He has the master physician with him, the great doctor, the great healer. They're walking towards his home. And guess what happens? This lady with an issue of blood steals the show. And so at this time, we're going to let uh, Pastor David come and he's going to share with you what happened when Jesus was en route to Jairus' house to heal his sick daughter. He's going to tell the story about how a woman decided to interrupt what God was doing to bring and birth a blessing in her life. And so that's what we're going to talk about a little bit today. Thank you.